So in this video, we're going to start adding some content into our screens. And for the assignment, you're basically going to, going to add four types of, of content. The first type of content is basically adding a background to these screens. The second type of content will be adding an image, and that's a image of you because for this personal assistant app, you're the personal assistant. We're pretending that you're some sort of virtual assistant of some sort, uh, you know, that exists to help people with a particular task or skill. The, the third type of content is going to be just basic shapes, and the basic shapes are going to be the buttons and the various parts of the screen where there's interaction or where you want interaction to occur or where you're trying to separate information. And then the fourth type of content is just text. So we'll use some text on here to outline different parts of what this layout is for and to help somebody looking at this layout understand what your app is being designed for. So let me talk about that first type that I mentioned, which is adding a background. So since we're using the frame tool, anything that you add to these frames are going to stay within the frame. And this is how you do that. So if I want to add a background for these frames, next to that initial frame tool that we used is this icon that's a rectangle. And within this rectangle icon area, we have all sorts of different shapes, that we can add, but the very bottom item is place image. So if you click on place image, you can search for an image and let me find something here. So right here, let's say I want to use this as a background. So I'm going to select it, hit open and drag it in here. And you notice as I drag the frame that I created automatically clips it out. Now, if I move it out for any reason, um, it will unclip or it may clip to another background. So what you have to do is drag it, shrink it down, make sure that when you shrink that down, it is within the frame itself and increase the size again. So you may have to play with this a little bit to get this set up uh, the way you want it. And, and now I have that set as a background. 